No, get these stupid birds away from me! No, roll, 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 roll! Oh, 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 his foot! Oh, his foot! Oh, no! Oh, his foot! Hey guys, it is Quad Asher here. We are back with Death Door. So last night we basically defeated Betty, which was the third soul that we needed. We had defeated the Witch of Urns, we had defeated the Frog King, and we have defeated Betty. I forgot her name for a second. So up next, I don't know exactly where we need to go. Look at that, 61.9. I kind of want to go back to some of the places that we may have not been able to go through because we didn't have certain abilities. I remember him saying something about the witch's place. Let's check out the, let's go ceramic uh, manor. And what I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go outside. Yep. All right, here we go. Um, so this is closed, right? So we have not, what is that? I want that. So we have not gone this way. Whatever opens that up. And we have all the items, so we should be able to get everywhere that we need to. So, ooh, ooh. What is that? Oh, what is this? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. We need these shrines. All right, it's a green one. I believe this is our second green shrine or third. Two, okay, so second, perfect. So now we need two more greens and two more reds to get that a level up. So like, I would not have been able to do that first time, which I kind of like. They kind of force you to go back to do everything. I don't mind that at all. It is just for some salts, but it does help leveling up. To be honest, I did not see that the first time. <laughs> I completely missed it. We were all good. We got that opened up. Interesting that the uh, the hook shot doesn't necessarily stun stun them. Oh, that's what we wanted. There we go. We found rogue daggers. These blades can speedily inflict damage on Dan uh, uh, to an opponent. Death by a thousand cuts. Sweet. So I'm pretty sure it does like less damage, but it's a whole lot faster than I'm guessing. Clearly I didn't go here. <laughs> Looks like I need to light these up. I need two more. What does that give me? Just a soul, that's it? Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I was really hoping that was gonna give me a shrine. So, it does less damage, but I get six swings, and my range is shorter, but my swing time is faster. Ooh. Let's go, and they're green? Perfect, I'm on, oh, I love it already. Okay, I think there's a, a big boss up here that I don't know if I did or did not beat. Oh wow, that took me here. Okay. Well, I'm out of the witch's place. The big crow's up there. I don't want to talk to the big crow just yet. Oh, wait, ooh, ooh, wait, wait. We got some soup. Oh, incense. That is... I guess that is incense because those are the, the sticks. I thought that was legit soup. <laughs> this stuff smells very strong. I don't want to go that way. That way is where the big bird is, where the actually death store is. And I said I'm not ready yet. I mean, I could just always just talk to the guy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Let's blow this up. What is this? Oh. Yeah, so that's fine. Yes, I'm a specialist. Let's go talk to the bird at the top by that store. Let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. He's so big. You did it. You are a much stronger reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It is time at long last. Let us force this door open, fledging, and finish our assignments. Yeah, look at those biceps. Mm. Boom. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm waving. Death. Are you death? 
I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just made mad ramblings of the free crows. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? Well, I didn't know you needed to rescue me. Alright, no, I'm sorry. We're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us. Wow, rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't even know you existed, bro. But alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's, well, your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, uh, awkward? If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Oof. Any non quarrel souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the aether. Ether? Sun energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. Oh. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary, it's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This is one of the Lords of Doors. This being could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead, a lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Ah, so that is why the Lords of Doors are kind of immortal. Well, actually they act for immortality, but that's impossible. If the soul stuck around too long past their expiring date, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the ether. Until one didn't. Ooh, is that the one that's currently our boss? Which, yep, which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your Lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there has to be some kind of incident, that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be, to, needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require a touch of death to link the door to the ether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. Ah, so that's where, you're, where we are? No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the ether. No death among the living. So, I like how he has a fanny pack. <laughs> I've been here alone ever since. But my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. Attracted to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul came here without a body, it disappears into the ether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. 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 I wasted so many years searching for the soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, since uh, you're a little bit past your best before date. <laughs> oh, he's gonna turn demonic. The Grey Crow. Oh, that piano. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, I was just helping you. I, I lied. I don't want to do that. Why did I do that? Come on. Ow, that was my bad. What? What? <laughs> so it's like, what sucks is my range is a lot shorter than what I'm used to. 
Okay, so every time I hit him, he releases like these. Oh, roll away, roll away, roll! Oh, come on! <laughs> He's too fast. Yeah, I might have to switch back to the sword. Oh, yep. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the sword. <laughs> Just to get that, that little bit of range and a little bit more damage. Because I'm not swinging as often. Like, his abilities aren't that hard to, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Unless I do stupid stuff like that. Wait, what is this? What is that? I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. Ah! Dodge out the way. Don't get hit by these birds. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah, I was gonna roll up, but then I saw where his beak was going. And that's where I was like, oh, I can't roll up, but I already was in the motion. Oh, I'm... Okay, okay, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I used a uh, hook shot on you. Hey! Right, this is going a lot better. No! 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 Ooh. No! 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 Okay, this is. Don't want to jinx myself. Ooh. Okay, that's that's a problem. That's a problem. I, I stick too long, get too greedy with the hits. Oh, come on! Oh, I didn't see, I wasn't paying attention to the little bird. But that was so much better. He didn't shoot the black hole though. There we go. Little things he shot at me, like little birds. Let's go. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt the fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, anything. Can you imagine being in a door that sees absolutely, it's just white. Everything is just white forever. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? That's the story of life right there. I saw, I saw a lot of that in my job, but until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I never thought it applied to me. I'm sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it's your, if, even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is still unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own cell and I need it back before I can do my, my job again. That's what it means if we want to end this cycle. Someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back out to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Well, I'm glad death is on my side. Sweet! Alright, so now we gotta go... Because I actually wanted to kind of beat the game. <laughs> so I guess we gotta go back 